regardless of whether you are an athlete, intermittently fasting, or in the middle of a keto or low-carb diet. Two things are crucial, staying hydrated and maintaining healthy levels of electrolytes in your body. So, in this video, I will cover how you can add electrolytes to water, making sure you get the best out of your diet and help your body function on an optimal level. Everyone's heard of electrolytes, but few truly know what they are. Electrolytes are minerals that conduct an electrical charge when dissolved in water. These include sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, chloride, and phosphate. You get them from the fluids you drink and the foods that you eat. They have a massive impact on the function and health of various bodily systems. Electrolytes are vital in balancing your body's pH levels, helping transport nutrients into your cells, while at the same time facilitating the removal of waste products like lactic acid and urea. They also play a crucial role in muscle, brain, and heart health, helping to regulate nerve function and help to rebuild tissue. So, with this in mind, what foods or products can we add to water to make sure we're getting the right amount of electrolytes in our diet? First, and the most easiest option, is salt. Sodium is one of the electrolytes that we run out of fairly quickly when fasting and especially when we exercise and sweat. Dissolving a teaspoon of salt into a glass of water doesn't seem like a very appetizing way to replenish your electrolytes, but it is one of the most efficient. However, try to avoid regular table salt as it contains only two minerals, sodium and chloride, and often contains some unwanted additives that are added to the table salt to prevent clumping. If you can swap out your regular table salt with Himalayan pink salt, that would be a great option. Himalayan pink salt comes straight from the mines in the Himalayas, formed millions of years ago, and is not heavily processed. It comes packed with more than 84 trace minerals, including magnesium, potassium, and calcium. Perfect for detoxification, body's pH balance, improved sleep, enhances digestion, and healthy nails, skin, and hair. To make your own pink Himalayan salt water, also known as sole water, mix Himalayan salt with water in a jar or a cup until the water is fully saturated and the salt no longer dissolves. Add one teaspoon of this concentrated pink salt mixture to eight ounces, 250 milliliters or one glass, of drinking water and drink it in the morning or during your fast as needed. If salt water is a little too hard to stomach, there are things you can add to improve the taste, like coconut water, stevia, powdered allulose, glycine, and lemon juice. Lemons are the electrolyte superfruit. This citrus powerhouse is a good source of potassium, calcium, and magnesium, as well as being able to balance out any overpowering taste of dissolved salt in your water. Lemon juice is also great for detoxifying the liver, balancing pH levels, and boosting vitamin C's immune system. Squeeze a whole lemon into cold or warm water for a sour injection of electrolyte goodness. Next one up is potassium gluconate. While most people get enough potassium from everyday food, vigorous exercises, fasting, and extreme low-carb diets can deplete some people's potassium levels. Powdered potassium gluconate is a perfect supplement replacement, almost completely tasteless in water and gentle on the stomach. Potassium is great for the cardiovascular system, reducing muscle cramps, decreasing blood pressure, and maintaining healthy heart function. Another great way to add electrolytes to your water is magnesium glycinate. Our body can't create magnesium by itself, yet it's a mineral essential for our health. 
So all of the magnesium that our body needs must come from the food and drink we consume. If our diet drastically changes, or during the extended fast, our magnesium levels can also change. With that depletion in magnesium levels can come cramping, fatigue, weakness, moodiness, and dizziness. To combat this potential deficiency, powdered magnesium glycinate to your water is a good way to supplement what we are missing from our food. Magnesium also helps to aid with deep sleep, muscle recovery, enzymatic reactions, membrane function, energy production, brain and cardiac function. The most balanced way to add electrolyte to your water is using electrolyte powders. Although you could buy many ready-made electrolyte powders from the shop, you can easily make one of your own using just three simple ingredients. This simple homemade electrolyte powder blend recipe that I will give you contains all the vital minerals our body needs and it has no artificial flavors or food dyes. This homemade electrolyte powder is perfect for fasting, low carb, and the keto diets. And it is super easy and cheap to make. It is convenient to take with you anywhere you go. It can be easily mixed with water whenever you need to replenish your depleted electrolyte store. Follow the link in the description below the video for the full list of ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions on how to make this electrolyte powder at home. Check it out now!